The Ghana Cricket Association as part of marking the Breast Cancer Awareness Month organized a one-day Pink Day T20 bash between Team Twinkle Ladies and Team Crashers at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Obwasi Campus Cricket Oval on Saturday, October 21, 2023. Organized by the Ghana Cricket Association GCA and sponsored by the Underground Mining Alliance and Bell Aqua, the T20 game which saw selected players from across the cricket playing halves in Ghana was aimed at creating awareness for breast cancer. The crashes led by vice captain of the senior women's team, Rosabel Asumadu, threw the Twinkle Ladies into a crease upon winning the toss. Twinkle Ladies scored 112 runs for the loss of five wickets, building great partnerships between them. Elizabeth Anno and Maria Michelle set the tone for the Twinkle Ladies, but Anno was sacrificed after 15 minutes while they had 19 runs. Captain Ryder Ophiria Mamfu came to boost their score as the bondage threatened the crashers who dropped catch twice until she was stunned in the entire 20 overs that saw Emanuela Abdullah take 4 0 10 3. In the second innings, Rosabel Asumadu had an early change when Kate Aria got her out for ball before her partnership with Rashida Tuselia could heat up. Eva Cody became the second scorer as the Twinkles worked hard on the field, getting quick four of wickets, weakening the crashes and limiting them to 72 runs, all out in 15.4 overs to win by 40 runs. Captain of Team Crashes, Rosabel Asumadu says they had a bad day. Yes, it's, it's just a game. Also, our thoughts on the fielding side because I remember when we got to the eighth over, we had some problems with the building, some darkness were inside. So I know next year we are going to come hard and press the mm. We didn't have our day. Mm. We didn't have our day because some of our top players didn't have we couldn't play more than we wanted to. So I would say we didn't have a day. Other than that, on a normal day, you know now, we go play her and crash them. Kate Aria was adjudged the best bowler with figures 4 0 11 3 and an economy rate of 2.75, while Ryder Amanfo grabbed both best batter accolade and player of the match with 34 wickets on strike rate of 100, as well as figures 3 0 9 1, with prizes to all individuals by veteran cricketer Eric Menu. Evelyn Nobani was adjudged the most improved player. She took 4 0 15 3, including the last wicket to wrap up the game with an economy rate of 3.75. Winning Captain Ryder for your month dedicated the win to her bosses. Actually, I am feeling so excited. Mm. And uh, I don't know how to express this feeling because I wanted to win at all costs for this Pink Day bash. So it's a plus for me winning this. Nothing more, nothing less, but we were doing the basic in terms of fielding and then batting at the same time. Nothing more, nothing less. Actually, we didn't want them to even get 50 rounds. So we wanted to finish the game at least in, ten, at least in the 10th over, but that didn't happen. So we were getting them out so that we can finish the game as quickly as possible. I would like to say this in public and I was playing for my bosses. Actually, I needed to win this game for my bosses. That's our precious manager, Mr. Clinton Jones, our project managers, Mr. Darry, and then Mr. Larry. I wanted to win. I wanted to win for them, and I wanted them to be proud of me wearing the badge of you and me in cricket. All my fans, all my fans. So everybody was expecting much from me. So I needed to up my game so that they will know that yeah, Reda is doing what she's capable of doing. Mm. With breast screening and prostrate conducted by the Anglo Gold Health Foundation, the pink day was filled with great awareness of breast cancer as both men and women turned up to be educated and screened while the game was ongoing. Desmond Kojo Amponsa, 
is one of the leaders of the Anglo Gold Health Foundation. This man we screened a lot of people in the community, about four or five churches and community members. Yesterday, about, 10, about 1,000 people. And then today, our invitation, we came here and there's been a lot of people here, the big and then the family and other people. We are doing this to create awareness about uh, breast cancer, the and cervical cancer. We believe that this is a good thing that once we do create awareness because this early detection we say helps. So the good thing that I want to do is that we create a, we, we screen and the people, the early signs, so that we screen people and then give them the treatment that they need. So that's why we support this situation. As a foundation, we believe that early detection helps in terms of the disease problems and other things. So once we screen and then pick out the early signs, and then it makes managing it a bit relatively easier. Because we don't want to try by the person who come where it has been going to the latter stage that we can't very difficult managing it. But once we pick it early, then you are able to fight it well and then get a person safe and sound again. That's why we are committed to doing these interventions. It's a subsidiary of the Anglo Gold, Anglo Gold Mine, so that's we are the health aspect. We take the health aspect of it, so we take all the people, the Anglo Gold Records, the Anglo Gold Records, the Anglo Gold community. So we are hospital on our own. Project manager of Underground Mining Alliance, Darren Howard was in the company of account officer Joseph Van Ado, touched on their support to Ghana cricket. You and I are with a lot of Australians, and uh, Australians are very passionate about their sports. Uh, it's under Graham Lionel Lawrence, is very happy and pleased to, to sponsor particular um, events in Wattie, and especially the Pink Day Bash, which raised awareness for women's events at that time. It is a uh, very hot subject around the world um, for women to, how would I say, um, be aware of the breast cancers and how many people are out there. The two of the when I first got here, I, I didn't realise I think it was being played and um, a couple of the people who play for Ghana cricket, a couple of personnel, um, like Rita who's out here on the field at present moment, um, worked for us, it's a truck, um, who approached us and made us aware that there is a Ghanaian cricket team. Um, so it, it, it filled out from there and it sparked our interest um, for something to be good to be involved to make awareness, awareness and support a Ghanaian team. Besides training from the underground, from our mining perspective and our knowledge of mining to help Ghana grow, especially in the mining activities, but also in the sporting activities, especially like the white cricket, um, bring the youth to get them involved in the sport. Um, it sees an encouraging thing to go. Yes! So along mm. those lines, a, a cricket team, mm. it, it, even a, a social team, as you could say, who will play again. Not just women, but including men's team. With special eyes on the players, female national coach Obert Harvey tells talks and sports the game went well. Honestly speaking, we want to say massive thanks to uh, everyone who contributed, especially God, uh, for giving us a brighter day to make sure that everything went successfully. Uh, we we're really, really uh, excited about that. And thanks to our Underground Mining Alliance, because we cannot stop saying thank you to them. And Belakwa coming on board and everybody, everybody who came in to support, especially our, um, what do you call it, um, the hospital, uh, AGA hospital, who came in to also help us with a bit of screening. So that's something also that we cannot do away with without saying thank you. So we're happy and thanks so much for that. To be honest, we wanted more than this, but yeah, we cannot ask for more than what we saw. It went really well with the first innings, especially uh, they showed some uh, bit of grits in there to hit the ball around. And that was something uh, we love seeing, especially with the captain, the winning side, Rida, uh, leading from the front. And uh, what you call um, Miriam also stayed in there a bit to support her. and. Uh, Lizzie, Lizzie uh, Arno also uh, did her part in the from the start. So that was something that uh, we can take away from from the whole of today. We met most of the uh, junior girls that we identified from the ongoing league from the Ashanti Region uh, Senior Women's League as well as, well as uh, Salt Pond and um, who are on standby and uh, Eastern Region who are also on standby to kick start with their junior leagues with the girls. So we invited girls from all those uh, hubs to come in and make this day uh, a, a massive one. So. Uh, we have seen, or I have, 
quietly uh, seen uh, um, Evelyn Nobanier who stood out to be the revelation for, for this program. We saw, I saw him, oh, sorry, her from the league and I realized that uh, there's something in here. So let's, let's, let's uh, invite her to come join the squad uh, for today. And she, she proved that, yeah, she is uh, a revelation that we're looking forward to. Uh, besides Grace Quenu from uh, South Point, who's already already there consistently knocking on the doors, and um, Tuglo also, unfortunately, couldn't uh, work out well for her today, but she's also something that we are looking forward to in the near future. We're looking forward to uh, keeping them together and making sure that we have a squad on standby whenever uh, we get a call up to do something. There are certain things uh, uh, in the pipeline that we're looking forward to, some bilaterals that we want to really make sure that it comes to, to effect. So with time, we will get everyone uh, up to speed with what we have in, uh, under our seats. Both teams, Twinkles and Crashes, were presented with individual certificates, after which the Ghana Cricket Association presented a citation to the Underground Mining Alliance for their continuous support to the development of the game. Treasurer of the Ghana Cricket Association, Angela Cassandra Alote, who doubles as women rep, was elated about the event and shared few words. Well, we all know that October is generally known worldwide as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And over the past years, we have always wanted to do something to promote breast cancer. We haven't really had the opportunity to showcase uh, cricket's involvement also with breast cancer awareness. And in all countries around the world, I mean, the cricket fraternity does show its uh, support towards breast cancer awareness. So here in Ghana this year, we decided that as part of female development activities in Ghana, they will actually add the celebration of breast cancer awareness to that calendar. And hence, the, this event, which we call the Pink Day Bash. It's been very, very interesting having these young women here pushing and, you know, playing cricket, showcasing the game. There are some new spectators up there who don't even know much about the game. And they are so excited because watching it is interesting. And then we are also teaching them how the game, the rudiments of the game. And that alone helps us to also continue the visibility, uh, how do you call it, uh, program of ensuring that as many people as possible get to see the game in different forms, in various forms, through different activities around the world. So this has helped us to showcase you know, the game to people who don't even know much about it within the community. Honestly, we've been very, very, very humbled by the fact that we have had two very big corporate organizations supporting this very laudable event. We have had the Underground Mining Alliance, UMA, who have supported us, and Bel Aqua. Bel Aqua uh, is part of the Blochem uh, group, and they are the ones who have given us water and, of course, T-shirts uh, to help us. And likewise, we also have gotten the support from Underground Mining Alliance. We intend to get better, and next year, definitely, we intend to ensure that this Pink Day celebration is always on our calendar for October. So the third Saturday of every October, we will be dedicating to breast cancer awareness and, of course, Pink Day. Yes, indeed, I got myself screened. I was the first to be screened just to make sure that, of course, you have to practice what you preach. And so I definitely got screened. And I'm expecting that every woman will take the opportunity to get screened. Grace in the Maiden Edition was board member set in tea. Cricket Operations Officer Prince Eugene King from GCA, as well as Dr. Dokra, Joyce Ajay Bidu, Hannah Penoki, and their medical team from Anglo Gold Health Foundation. The Pink Day T20 Bash is intended to be an annual event with the Ghana Cricket Association targeting next year's event to be held in Accra. Thank you. Thank you.